Hi, I'm Wyatt with HKN, and today we're doing an RL circuit example. Uh, some prior information that you need to know about the circuit is that it, uh, it's actually been closed for a very long period of time prior to t equals zero. At t equals zero, the switch is opened and will result in a change in the circuit. Because it's been closed for such a long period of time, the inductor is actually act, is fully charged and it's acting like a short. So you can imagine this as a straight line going down. Uh, and then beyond that, at t equals zero, it's switched open, and this is where a decay will occur in the circuit, where you can expect a gradual voltage and current loss. Uh, some things that we want to uh, solve during this uh, example is current through the inductor, current through the, uh, actually, excuse me, voltage through the inductor, voltage through the resistor, and the power of the inductor. So to get started, um, at t equals zero, it's been switched open, and there's not a uh, immediate change in the circuit. Uh, the res uh, inductor will res resist a, uh, a change in current, so you can expect uh, t equals zero plus to be about the same as, uh, as, as if it was already closed. So to solve this, we are going to do node vo uh, voltage uh, right here. With this node, this being the only acting node, and this being ground. Um, so to get node voltage, uh, we can do this loop. This being V1 over 8 ohms plus V1 minus 6. over the two ohm resistor plus V1 over four ohms. And remember this is acting as a, a short, a straight line, so we can ignore the inductor. V1 over four equal to zero. There's many ways that you can solve uh, this node voltage if you didn't want to uh, balance out the denominator. Um, you could just solve it as fractions, but the way I'm gonna do it is to get a common denominator. Or, Remove it by eight V one plus four V one minus twenty four plus two V one equal to zero. Uh, so I'm from V ones, you get seven V one minus twenty four is equal to zero. 7v1 equals 24, and v1 will equal 24 over 7. Uh, from this node voltage, you can solve the current going through the circuit past time zero, where the switch has been opened. And so you can solve the current of the inductor going through this loop. So if we do Ohm's law right here, uh, well, IL of zero plus is equal to 24 over seven over the four ohm, four ohm resistor which will give you a 0.86 amps. So there we have it. We've solved for in the current through the inductor. And next, we're going to be solving for the voltage through the inductor. So in this case, VL of 0 plus is going to equal the current through the inductor, and at time zero, uh, the resistance through this loop will be the four ohm resistor and the eight ohm, since this is opened. If we want to do that, this is a sign convention. Um, so 0.86 amps 
times negative 8 ohms, negative 8, plus negative 4 ohms. And solving for this, which you can check my work, uh, I got negative 10.3 volts. So at time zero, uh, to solve for the voltage in the resistor, you can do a similar method. Actually, very much the same thing. And time zero, you're going to be using the same current through the inductor value, 0.86 amps. And you'll be multiplying, multiplying it by the 8 ohm resistor going through there. And this comes out to negative 6.7 volts. And then get the power through the inductor. It's going to equal a, it's going to be a separate equation from what's above. So omega, or omega w uh, through the inductor at time 0 plus is equal to 1 half. L I L squared. And we already know all of these values. We've just solved for them. And it's also what's given to us. So 1 half times 0.1 Henry, right here. And the current through the inductor is 0.86 amps squared. So on this, you will get. 0 0.037 joules. Now this is uh, immediately after the switch has been opened and there's not necessarily a decay happening yet, but beyond there, um, beyond zero plus at time one, one second, two seconds, even a few milliseconds, you can expect a decay within the voltage and currents along with the power. And that's where a tau time constant is going to come into play. Um, and the time constant for an RL circuit is um, the inductance over resistance, L over R. So tau is equal to L over R. In our case, 0.1 Henry over the 12 ohms in the circuit. And this gives you 8.3 milliseconds. Uh, this is going to come in play for the following equations to calculate the time decay for the above values. So the time decay for the current going through the inductor will equal IL of T. We will um, the initial uh, current through the inductor at zero plus 0.86 amps. Um, times the exponential decay of negative t over tau, which is 8.3 milliseconds. So any value t, you can plug in this formula, and you can calculate the current going through the circuit. And then beyond there, we can get the voltage time constant, or time uh, decay, where VL of t is equal to the, uh, the initial value at 0 plus negative 10.3. Minus the exponential decay as above, negative t over 8.3 milliseconds. Voltage through the inductor, the decay follows the same formula as above. Equals the initial, negative 6.7 volts, times the exponential decay 
t over a point three. And the last one, uh, that's where it gets unique, I would say. So you can be solving for this equation again, but at value t. So w l at t is equal to 1 half l i l squared. We know the value of l, but i l squared, we are going to have to square this above. So i l squared equals 0.86 exponential of negative t over 8.3 squared. Squaring this gives you, I have to grab my uh, calculator for a second. Um, I've done this out. Point eight six up squared is point seven three nine six e to the negative two t over eight point three. And then you plug this equation back into right here, right there. So 1 half W of L of T is equal to 1 half times 0 0.1 times 0 0.73, 9, 6, E2. And to simplify this, uh, 2 over 8.3 is going to give you a, uh, a 4.15 in the denominator. 4.15. So on this even further, you're going to get a 0 0.037 e to the negative t over 4.15. So that solves the circuit. Uh, you can see the time de uh, decay past the uh, once the switch has been opened, and it solves our example. Thanks for watching.